Hello and welcome back to my channel and to another food shopping haul. So as it's snowing and I'm a big kid and we hardly ever get snow where we are, I've decided to film the intro to this video in our conservatory just so you can see the snow because the rest of the UK gets blanketed frequently and because we're right on the coast we just don't get any so I thought change of scenery rather than seeing the same old living room that you see every day plus it's really quiet out here because it's cold and no one wants to sit out here so I can chat to you so this week I have been to Tesco if you watch my videos regularly you will know that last week I cleared out all my cupboards I did a big use up of everything I had in stock and I spent very little on last week's shopping and we basically just had a complete use up which was really satisfying actually and a lot of you said it prompted you to do the same so we shopped from our cupboards we just topped up with a few bits and spent way under budget so as always following that kind of shop I tend to do a really big food shop so just bear that in mind when you're watching this video because this isn't a normal weekly shop for us this is a we have cleared the entire cupboards we've really lowered our budget for a few weeks and now we need to stop back up because it has to happen doesn't it so I bought way more than I usually would. I didn't actually spend much over our budget. Our budget is around £120 a week and I think I spent about 30 no, between 20 and £30 over that. So I thought it was going to be a lot more but I did get some really good offers. Just wanted to put that out there in case you've never seen any of my other videos and you're like wow she buys such a lot of food for just five of them for a week. I'm going to take through everything I've bought. I'll let you know next week's meal plan and then I will let you know exactly how much I spent because this was filmed a couple of days ago and I can't remember off the top of my head. If you do watch these regularly then you may have noticed a little bit of a change. My hair has got shorter again. I haven't broken the rules and been to a hairdresser's. My husband Steve has cut it again. He cut it in the first lockdown and he did really really well and I was just getting to that point where I was like I look like a witch it was like down here and it was like split ends you know what I mean it just needed doing and I'm really really pleased with it actually it feels so much nicer rather than having this big mane of like uncontrollable hair anyway I'm gonna stop waffling and I'm gonna take you through what we bought in Tesco this week like I said it's a big one so get yourself comfy maybe pause the video go make yourself a cup of tea or something come back and just have a nosy of what's in the shops at the moment right so we'll start off with the fresh fruit and veg so I got one of these vegetable and bean sprout stir fries some perfectly imperfect apples romaine heart lettuce I've got two lots of tender stem broccoli tips a lot of this was on the club card deal by the way I think these were £1.20 two cucumbers I got some baby plum tomatoes, one avocado, some sun trail farm, great, two mango, again these are on the club card offer, I think they're 59p or something at the moment, thought I'd make a nice change, some perfectly imperfect carrots, which are about 50 odd p, some rocket for salads, some munch too to also go in a stir fry, bananas, as always Simon is snoring in the background, some plums, got some strawberries they're not in season at the moment because you get about four or how many is in there there's six or seven in there they're one pound 65 but i just wanted a bit of variety this week got some sweet peppers and for once they're all red because normally you get a green one and a yellow one but we like the red so it was good luck got some sweet potatoes and some brown onions we also got some mushrooms Oh, and potatoes. I can see a bag of British all-rounder potatoes. They're about 95p. So I'll do the, let's do the, the cleaning products next. So basically your boring bits. I was out of dishwasher salt. Tie handle food bags just for like putting leftovers in the freezer. Um, Method was on offer at £2. And although I did buy a load of Fabulosa before, um, some of them really make my throat bad and I mean I'm really really bad like I can't breathe it's only certain sort of scents but I really do struggle to use them I've had to tip a couple away now because they just make me like lose my breath and I choke and all sorts of drama <laughs> and I know that these are absolutely fine and I absolutely love the wild rhubarb this was two pounds so I got one of those it was a very long explanation about antibacterial cleaner wasn't it but let me know in the comments if you find the same with the fabulosa stuff some of it just just takes my breath away and it's not very pleasant got some cherry washing up liquid this is only 33p so I'm a dishwasher rinse aid because I've literally been running my dishwasher it's had no salt and no rinse aid for the last like week and I was like well I'm not just going to go out to buy that washing wise surfer brought out this new wild jasmine limited edition it's the same price as the others so it's three pound 
quite a funky packaging so i thought i'd try that i absolutely love surf um a golden topaz luxurious fabric conditioner i'm not really sure what it smells like so i didn't sniff any of these it's a bit awkward when you've got a mask isn't it and i absolutely love this one the herbal extracts just makes the house smell nice like we hang our washing on areas and things like around in the house and in the conservatory it just makes the house smell really good so and obviously the clothes as well but this one was on club card offer for two pounds seventy and this one was this one was three pounds so not on offer because it was a new one we've got some blue no some green milk four pints of milk our usual double strength squash so you've got an orange lemon and pineapple and a tropical frozen wise i didn't get masses i just got the basics i always tend to buy like hearty food co chips just find that these are fine we always put the Kerala seasoning on them pretty much anyway or i've got another seasoning like an all-purpose one um i got a bag of corn to make a corn stir fry we're trying to have at least one meat free meal a week if not more so this week we're going to be having a really nice sort of chinesey kind of stir fry i've got a couple of packs of burgers just to make the boys like a lunch on a saturday or something you know what teenagers are like they're always hungry aren't they two of these pizzas again they're like 67p and i know i talk about them every week but they honestly are so good because if you're going to make a cheese sandwich and put like ham in it and pepperoni and butter and stuff these are just great you pop these in the oven i suppose what i'm saying is they're no more unhealthy than eating a cheese and tomato sandwich with a bit of pepperoni but they're like so convenient and they feel like a treat and they just have a yogurt a piece of fruit and a couple of slices of pizza and then that's them done for lunch and i just feel like at the moment i just want to like make life a little bit more pleasant than you know a bit more interesting so when they come down for their lunch it's nice to say you've got pizza rather than just a sandwich but just trying to find joy in the small stuff at the moment meat what um okay so that was frozen i wasn't going to buy these and then they were actually in the fresh section but i can freeze them but they're these simply chicken tenders and i got them because they were two pound 20 instead of three pound 50 and they look really nice actually and i thought these would be ideal in a wrap with some sweet chili sauce for a meal one evening and it would make like a mcdonald's sweet chili wrap you could put some lettuce maybe a little bit of mayo and i just thought that was good for two pound twenty so i got two because i reckon you could put two in each wrap two four six eight <laughs> there's almost enough for us to have a wrap each but my boys are probably eat two two packs of two i can't get over the breakfast but i'm too short two packs of chicken breast we are going to be having um sweet potatoes with coronation chicken and salad that i had in my what i eat in a day video and we're also going to be making some really nice tandoori chicken pizzas and the chicken thighs are to have with halloumi salad and that's it halloumi and salad actually that's a meal one evening again on the reduced side of things i got some of these turkey sausages one pound 25 instead of two pound 20 and i just thought they might make, make a nice like breakfast or i have to do toad in the hole or something beef steak mince i got a bigger one i'm gonna make a chili and i like to get a bigger one then i put a few various types of beans in and then i can freeze half <laughs> sorry i can freeze half or save half like leftovers and things another reduced item although i don't think it had a reduced sticker on was this danish sizzling smoked bacon so you've got 10 rashers and it was at one pound fifty and the date on this is actually a month yes the six month yeah six of march so you've got like a month so i'm not quite sure why that was reduced to 150 i think it's usually quite a bit more than that but got those cheese and bacon sausage rolls the boys like them plain sausage rolls they're just handy again just like to grab when i'm busy doing my stuff and they need something i've got two of the cheaper cream fields halloumi to go with our halloumi and chicken salad two feta or salad cheese it's very similar isn't it greek style salad cheese this is to go on the tandoori pizzas i'm really looking forward to showing you that one in my meals of the week whenever it appears um a 30 percent reduced fat extra mature cheddar i got some of these seriously strong triangles and some laughing cow blue if you like blue cheese i really recommend these they're so nice they're only 25 calories per triangle and we put them on things like rice cakes and rye vitas, and they're just really good and also i like strong cheese so i thought we'd try those ones as well and they were a pound each on the club card deal another thing that was a pound was these um muller like greek style yogurts these are coconut with a hint of vanilla 
and these are toffee at the back there and then I got some Rolo mousse and some milky bar mousse and these were all a pound on the club card deal two lots of chicken and one lot of ham sandwiches subs all that kind of thing some Greek yogurt um, I'm going to be making a mint yogurt dip to go on the pizzas I keep on about these pizzas don't I <laughs> they must they've got to be nice two lots of mac and cheese Call of Duty, Cold War, wait, I don't know. I think I got suckered in by the packaging. I know that Oscar loves mac and cheese and I know the fact he'll love the fact that it's got a soldier on it. So we got those, they were 50p. Two savoury rice. These are just handy to have in there, 25p. And you could always just add a little like tin of tuna or some chopped chicken or, you know, something like that and make a nice lunch with it, couldn't you? you know, it doesn't really have to cost a fortune. Like I said, 25p, it's crazy. So got two of those. I got these for Jake and Bailey. Um, if you didn't know who Jake and Bailey are, those are my older two sons. They are thir <laughs> 13 and 15. I had to think about that. Yeah, 13 and 15 year old boys, and they are obsessed with spice at the moment. So these are the spicy ramen, and I'm sure they'll love those. And then my other son, Oscar, is 10, and I've got some curry flavor noodles as well. Medium egg noodles for the corn stir fry. Fruit and nut granola for breakfast. Some Law Espresso um, coffee pods for our machine. These were £2.50 for 10 which if you've got one of those machines is quite a good offer. Some biscuit tea because we've run out and it wasn't on offer so I was a little bit upset but it's £2.30. But not as upset as I was. I've completely, oh the eggs are balanced on it, completely run out of options hot chocolate. And I do really like to have an options of an evening. And usually I buy it when it's on offer, but this was £4, and I'm sure I've said it in a food haul before. I just think that's so expensive, £4 for one tub of hot chocolate. Especially when, if you get it on offer, they often do it for like £1.50 or £2. So I'm like really angry, but next time I see it on offer, I swear I'm going to buy like four of them so that I don't have to keep paying full price. I don't know, certain things, just I don't think they're worth it. Um, but then I want one every night, so there you go. Um, Again, I don't know. I was in kind of a like, let's make everyone happy mood. And I know that Steve absolutely loves boosts and Whisper Gold. Does anyone remember? Well, obviously you remember Whisper Gold, but I remember having these in our canteen at school and we used to buy one and then me and my friends and then we used to go and sit behind a bus stop after school and eat our Whisper Gold. Like, you know, the kind of things kids used to do when we were younger. Um, I don't know why I'm going into my life story, but I just thought... How nice is that? And they were only a pound, so they, I'm, I'm sure even back when I used to buy them, they were like 70p each in our canteen. So yeah, 25p each. So I thought we'll get some of those some boosts. I am rambling today. You can tell I don't really see many people. Got some yogurt breaks. Um, they're a pound. Salty caramel munch bars are 89p, and raisin munch bars. If you like these kind of things, I don't tend to eat them often, but these are really, really good. They're very kind of sticky and dense. Uh, fizzy laces. So we've got strawberry bubble gum and belts for like movie night sweets. Um, so yeah, here goes another another little bit of my life story. Well, not mine, but basically, um, although the older boys are older now, and movie night may seem a little bit childish it started years and years ago so when the boys were babies steve used to do shifts and one week he didn't get home till 11 o'clock every night so i had three children under five and every friday i was just like i'd had enough so we started a, like a movie night where i'd just do a freezer dinner they'd be allowed to eat it on their laps and they'd have a few sweets back then it was like a couple of milky buttons or something um and it's just a, a tradition that's kind of well, it's stuck basically he no longer does shifts the boys are older nine times out of ten they'll watch like movies every night or whenever we want to watch a movie it's not a specific thing but i just thought lots of people are probably thinking god you've got like 13 and 15 year olds and you still buy them sweets for movie night it just started way back when i was just trying to cope <laughs> alone with these babies at night and you know just just stuck and it's nice so i've got 24 free range eggs because we all like our omelettes boiled eggs scrambled eggs in the mornings some baked Watsits, I've got these flaming hot, they're six packs for a pound and then they, this was a new thing, this is the 99 calorie mix but I got it because it was 22 packs and you've got your squares, your quavers, your Watsits and your french fries um, is that it? yeah, and it was three pound 
siren, seriously. Three pound for 22 packs. <laughs> so these are the naans that I'm gonna be making our pizzas with. They are huge, like there's my hand. They're, 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 they're massive. So I got four because I'm not sure how many. I think they're probably gonna use two, but it wouldn't hurt to put two in the freezer. These are one pound 50. They're really, really nice. They're ha hand stretched, flame baked. And what I'm gonna do is put feta, marinated tandoori chicken, and then I'm going to make like a put some chilies on a little bit of grating of cheddar maybe and then some like yogurt mint dip afterwards and so, kind of like drizzle it over and possibly like fresh coriander but I haven't got any I don't know if my coriander's dead actually if my coriander's dead then we might stick a bit of frozen coriander over the top and I just thought that'd be really nice with some salad got some more of these deli cheese four cheese bagels I did post over on my Instagram, we had sausages in these for breakfast one day, they are really good um, and they are in Tesco and they're only a pound for four at the moment in Tesco on the offer so I've got two of those because like I said you only get four in a pack and there's five of us which is kind of annoying but there we go. Two lots of corn thins because I really, these are the kind of things that I have cheese triangles on for lunch. Some pan au chocolat and some brioche just to like warm up for the weekend for breakfast. Sub rolls, lots of you ask all the time what I use to make subways. I get these because they're semolina dusted and they are only a pound for four. I've got two lots of the Mission Deli wraps, the wheat and white ones. They were a pound or 95p, so I thought we'd get those to have those chicken tenders in. Just your standard spring force toilet tissue. And then I was kind of out of seasoning-y saucy things so i've got one of these yaro sushi soy ginger and garlic yakisoba stir fry mixes um, it was 50p instead of a pound and i thought that sounds quite nice i've got two lots of hoisin sauce because there's quite a few recipes i've looked at lately that have required it and we never ever have it in i think this was two pound 70 and they had it on offer for one pound one pound 23 so i've got two of those um to make some nice Chinese dishes and this Lee Kum Ki make is very good. I often buy their soy sauce, but I didn't today because the amoy was cheaper. Uh, I also got some Blue Dragon sweet chili for the wraps. I got two creamy Japanese mayo. If you like mayonnaise and you haven't tried it, then you should. I rave about it all the time. Um, we tend to save this specifically for when Steve makes the chicken thigh burgers or smash burgers, but this is normally £2.50 and it was £1.30 so I got two because again you're just saving money aren't you it's a little tip um, I've still got that video to come by the way my like budgeting tips and things I just haven't got around to doing it yet but it will be up at some point I've got two cheddar cheese sauces I really like the Coleman's one I'm going to be making a lasagna and I'm, to be honest with you I'm just not going to lie I can't be bothered to make my own cheese sauce so I'm going to use these I've got some crushed chilies some medium tikka curry powder and some mild tandoori curry powder so we can sort of mix and match this is really good for the coronation chicken and this is nice if you like tandoori chicken the lasagna i'm making is actually kind of loosely based on a gino de campo one where he uses pesto but he makes his own you know like basil and pine nuts and olive oil and i'm just not and i actually prefer red pesto to green so that's why i've got that but i'm interested to try the loosely based Gino recipe. I'm sure Gino would be thrilled that I'm using Coleman's packet sauce and Tesco pesto in his recipe, but sometimes you just have to go with what's easy, don't you? Two rapeseed oil spray and a soy sauce because it was a pound and I needed some. So that is everything I bought for us. I also got my parents a couple of bits I need to drop on their doorstep, picked up some prescriptions and yeah so i actually spent 155 just under it's like 154 something and that's pretty good my budget is around 120 and like i said last week i think i spent somewhere around 40 maybe 50 pound and i really completely cleared out all my cupboards if you haven't seen that video then it's my last food haul i literally showed you everything i had in the fridges everything i had in my cupboards i pulled it all out and used it all up basically so i really needed to I really needed to do another massive top up, which is what I've done. Oh, I've got to put all this away. So I'm going to now take you through my meal plan for the coming week. Right, so I'm very quickly gonna take you through my meal plan because editing the video, realized I haven't filmed it. Um, 
excuse the tumble dryer going it needs to dry it's not going to dry today in this snow so i'm going to be making a lasagna that's the gino de campo one if i can i will leave it linked down below or i'll definitely leave it linked when i make it but as i said i'm sure gino doesn't use tesco and coleman's packets on his but you know we're also going to be having chicken thighs halloumi and salad and i always marinate the halloumi in something like I don't know, spices smoky paprika something like that i'm going to be doing the massive coriander naan pizza breads with feta and rocket and mint sauce and tandoori chicken i'm also going to be making a corn noodle stir fry sweet potato jackets with coronation chicken and salad and we've got those chicken tenders to have in wraps as well um, and I'll probably do this like McDonald's style with a sweet chilli sauce, some mayo, some lettuce, maybe chop up some fries and things. So that's everything I've got on my list. I've also left a day free just to use up any like leftovers or we always like accumulate things during the week that need using up. So I'm going to try this year to do that a lot more often because I used to do it really well last year and then I kind of got out of it. So, you know, I'm going to try and use up more that's in the cupboards, use up more of the leftovers and yeah just save a little bit of money on shopping so that is it for this video if you've enjoyed it then please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already so with that being said i hope you've enjoyed our tiny little bit of snow i'm just looking around like it's cool it's not exactly it's not exactly teaming it down is it it's not like it's not really a blizzard but it's a lot for us here where we are and with the sea air and that it'll probably be gone in about two hours so i'm gonna make the most of it and just sit out here with a cup of tea and watch the snow so comment down below let me know especially if you're in the uk have you got snow do you never get snow are you from like the coastal areas and you see everyone else getting snow and you don't or are you fed up of the snow <laughs> some of you are but anyway whatever your situation i hope everyone is staying safe and i'll be back really soon with another video take care guys mm -hmm.